what to do leo here this is episode 18 of what is this give me a second there you go episode 18 of spider uh kumo reska nanika so i'm a spider so what and um yeah let's just get right into it <laughs> what is that is that a dragon Oh my! What? Oh, it's dead. Kumoko. <laughs> Our girl's back. Yeah. <laughs> they go. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Wait, what? Vampire girl. Uh, who was chasing Avatar last time? Was it, if I remember correctly, I think it was bandits. No, 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 bandits and bandits and elves. I think. I think it was elves. Still trying to figure out why the elves would even want our vampire girl. What our our, our vampires like some kind of taboo. Divine Beast. Three moons. Lucky you. I wonder who's the wonder who's the vampire. Is it the mother or the father? Might be the mother because of her eyes. But this is kind of big. Now we know that she is her mental capabilities are still of her age before she got reincarnated. So she's fully aware of everything that's happening. I wonder if she's able to comprehend uh Kumiko helping her out. Is she going to start praising the spider or something? Never know. Lord's Kingdom. Holy Kingdom of the Alias and the Renzant. Word of God. Hmm.
Oh, okay, so we're seeing the scenario with the bandits in the viewpoint of Sophia. Brutal. Got him. Oh, oh Glenn and Singer. <laughs> it still puts me off whenever I see our spider girl look like an absolute monster. <laughs> Which she is, but you know. Just murking people. Wait, what? She's scared of it. Uh, I guess. I guess, yeah. Technically, I was thinking Kumoko for some reason could talk and communicate, but I forgot she doesn't talk. So she just looks like a dangerous creature that just murdered a bunch of bandits. <laughs> Sophia's like, well, crap. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? This man's got to be a millionaire when he comes back. Oh, he was going to invite him to his party. He's like, yeah, chief, I'm ahead. <laughs> I'm a dip chief. You know what? You're probably going to die, so... I'm going to take these dragon parts and uh, just dip real quick. Nah, he seems like a decent guy. Hmm. Are they like? Is it? Are do they follow the same religion? Hmm. If you offer your skills, you'll be saved. What? What does that mean? You believe in raising your skill. Offer. Nah. Give your souls or give your skills. So one believes in gaining skills, the other believes in giving away skills. They might both be wrong, who knows? They might both be radical views on a system rather than religion. Skidos, that's how you Some Attack on Titan reference. <laughs> you know, man, both sides kind of hate you, Shun. The ones that want to gain skills are part of Hugo's group, and the ones that give away so give away skills don't even like heroes. So I think we gotta deal with the devil, if you know what I mean. I think it's the rational decision. Yeah, I don't trust that voice. I don't trust that face either. Nope, 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 nope. He seemed nice. My guy. He looked demented. <laughs> he looked he looked evil. His voice sounded dodgy. I don't, I don't, I don't. If I'm completely wrong, I will take the L. 
but I'm like 99% sure he is dodgy. He's not good. We shouldn't be saving him. In fact, maybe we need to body him. Okay, maybe he... Okay. What did I say? What did I say? You know what? That's not even 100%. That's not even evidence yet. Okay. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's say he's still being... Let's say he's being um, controlled by a third party, even beyond Hugo. There you go. Stealth. Are these the bandits? No. I'm trying to kidnap Vampire Girl again? Oh. Oh. Dead. Wait, what? Did she just use... She just sniping them from like... How did she do that? Did... Oh my gosh, if anyone can explain how she actually did that, that would be cool. Did she use the idea of mirrors? To refract? Light waves? Who knows? Either way, it's cool. You fool. You were merely <laughs> kept alive so you could show your base. I was right. Elves. Yeah, elves. <laughs> no, they look dodgy. <laughs> to be honest, beside our teacher, I haven't really seen any elves that are like happy go lucky. Most of them are either like are like servants or doing some dodgy work like assassinations. I can't really I don't really remember many. Happy elves. She just made a hammock or whatever it's called. Who is that? Oh, it's Potamus. The head of the elves. If I remember correctly, was Potamus bodied in the future? <laughs> Is that man dead? <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He and Ariel, and then they cut to the uh the the priest guy, the Pope guy. I'll just call him the Pope guy. The Pope guy and Ariel. How do you know about Ariel? What? Who the heck is Dustin? Is Dustin the Pope? Be fighting him and Ariel. Fighting him and Ariel. Okay, okay. So if it's Ariel and then the other leader is the Pope. Okay, I guess I'll just assume Dustin is him. If I'm wrong, I'll figure it out. Oh, we might get bodied right here. Yeah, okay. It is the Pope. Fatimas, you don't look like a very cool guy. You look very dodgy too. <laughs> Pachi. <laughs> to be an extinct, like a protected species. <laughs> Did 
Did you just hear what she said? Genocidal. <laughs> That's so dark. She is just murking everyone. It wasn't elves. Maybe it's maybe it's um the Pope's people. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> her and her antics did I love it I knew it everyone's got spies on everyone's territories 101 101 oh it's not So if Potamus has is aware of our Pope here and Ariel, and he's aware of Potamus and Ariel, I'm guessing Ariel also has um like knows the other two. They just know of each other's existence. And they're like the triangle of strength in terms of this world's powers. <laughs> we just ignore the demon world and demon lord and the hero. It's actually these main three. He's kidnapping children. Oh. Well, he was going after our vampire girl, so maybe. And Potamus was talking about reincarnation, so maybe it's a front for, for, getting the reincarnations. I don't know. I'm spitting anything out at this point. Okay, I think it's pretty simple to say that this Pope guy is not being controlled by any means. I think he's using Hugo to a means to an end. Nightmare of the Labyrinth. <laughs> it flattered. Was that whenever she got out of the labyrinth and then just brought down a castle? <laughs> can it understand like can Komoko understand language though? I'm not too sure. It understands administrator D. That's all we know so far. It saved your life, my guy. So it's perfectly fine for you to call it honorable. It saved your life. <laughs> what? What the heck is Kumako doing? <laughs> yeah. The divine beast or whatever it is. Oh, the goddess used to have a spider servant known as a divine beast. So people think it's this. People think Kumako is this. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my gosh. I didn't even put two to two together. Oh my gosh. I didn't even put them together. I didn't. Oh, wow. She's the ancient divine beast that moved with the goddess. That's huge. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, aren't you just aren't you just stealing aren't you just stealing her identity? <laughs> Did you understand that? I would really like some confirmation if Kumoko can actually understand what the humans say. Liver cancer. Gosh. Foul feeder. Malnourished fatigue and decreased organ function. Oof. That's so sad. Hey, Kumako. Wait, wait, wait. Can we get a? Can we get? Can we just go back just a hot second, real quick? Can, did you see that difference in size? Look at her. Look how big and thick Kumako is in comparison to humans. My gosh, no other people were scared of Kumako. And that's supposed to be a small utility-based assassin-type spider. It's, it's chunky. <laughs> just imagine what she's doing this spiel all it is is just her like making really really loud spider noises <laughs> you know whenever she was complaining about the in the previous episode she was comparing when she was complaining about the vampire <laughs> like how did you get to live how did you let to be so in a, such a nice scenario oh my gosh and then she was just rolling into side to side and all you could hear was squealing spider noises <laughs> I hope they show it. If they do, that would be so funny. All it took was mana. That's insane. That's all it took. It just took some mana. And she somehow cured liver cancer, malnourishment, decreased organ function. <laughs> That's... And all, and she's like, okay, I got you know an apple, cool, and it looked kind of rotten, but you know, food's food. <laughs> Again, we're gonna check just in case. That's adorable. You never know; it, there could be something at the end. Maybe not this time. Oh, there is. There you go. Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> She's gonna get a lot of apples today. She's gonna get a lot of apples today. She's even blushing too. Look at that. <laughs> so they all so they all believe she's a divine beast of whoever goddess that was. I don't even we don't know anything about the goddess thus far, but we know the divine beast is possibly Ariel. Judging from how they displayed it, and it seems like our girl Kumako is committing straight up being an imposter, straight up stealing the identity of Ariel, which would piss her off even more. And her notoriety of being the divine beast or being proclaimed as a divine beast could lead to Ariel finding her even quicker or even sooner. So stuff could be happening next episode. Super excited for it. Episode 18 of Kumodeska Nanika. I'll see you guys in the next episode.